Let's see what the leader of the free world has been up to lately. Exponentially. Exponentially. One could argue that this image sums up the Biden presidency, a perfect metaphor for the Biden economy, for sure. But, you know, it's like, whoa, I feel worse off. But then again, I didn't get a check for eight grand from the government. They just, among other things. Does that make any sense to anybody or is it just me? Uh, it's just you, Joe. That made no sense to me. But then again, I'm not fluent in gibberish or gobbledygook. We need more money to plan for the second pandemic. There's going to be another pandemic. Who this week told the world he had cancer. You know what was happening? You had to put on your windshield wipers to get literally the oil slick off the window. That's why I and so damn many other people I grew up have cancer. But it turns out he doesn't have cancer, thank God. And she was forced to have to travel out of the state to Indiana to seek to terminate the presidency and maybe save her life. Um, James, um, uh, hello. We need to look at the, uh, which, which camera am I which at? Is the doc here? No, I'm sorry. Oh, Dr. Doctor. Oh, Dr. Doctor. Dr. Doctor. Dr. Doctor. Dr. Doctor. He's the guy that's running the CDC for me these days, basically. And he's up there. He's standing on stage. But he's ready to perform. <laughs> No, President uh, Dr. Jha isn't running the C CDC for you. That would be Rochelle Walensky. She's the director of the CDC, and you should know that because you appointed her. He's doing weird stuff like sniffing people, falling off stationary bikes, falling upstairs, rambling incoherently, and generally being a clown ripe for mocking. These are not normal times. Bring down the price you are charging at the pump to reflect the cost you are paying for the product. Do it now. Do it today. Uh, okay, that doesn't exactly fill one with confidence. So here's some footage of Joe Biden being masterful, powerful, and cognitively sound. As president, would you be willing to sacrifice some of that growth, even knowing potentially that it could displace thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of blue collar workers in the interest of transitioning to that greener economy? The answer is yes. That's $7.29 a gallon. Time to check in on the leader of the free world, who this week proved that he will, Ron Burgundy style, read anything on the auto queue. Anything. It is noteworthy that the percentage of women who register to vote and cast a ballot is consistently higher than the percentage of the men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. And by the way, my sympathies to your, the family of your, F, uh, uh, your, your CFO, who uh, un, dropped dead very unexpectedly. Take a brief stroll down memory lane to see how he's proven again and again that he's as sharp as a tack and up to the enormous task before him. The nature, not a solid meeting with... Um, with uh, the, uh, can you see us? Can you hear us? Yeah. Hey, everyone. Thanks for doing this. Thanks. Leave it to you. I open it up. Open okay. It up. It's worth remembering that not too long ago, America was a net energy exporter. But if you vote for mad green policies, you get mad green policies. Where I first noticed there was ketchup dripping down the wall. Ketchup? 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 Oh, I'm in way over my head. To construct new utopias together. I don't know, it won't be possible. And someone's got to step in because you seen the nutters that are running your country over in America. Pelosi elbow this little girl during a photo op? That's the allegation from newly elected Congresswoman Mayra Flores. Hey, hey, out of me, out of me. That's not saying them all. And that's all, folks.